right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 30th of August, and uh, a rainy one out there. But uh, hey, man, it was a rainy day when the Mommy Son family bought this Grand Cru Monopole in Burgundy. It's always a good day to shop on a rainy day. And I uh, figured, what the heck, man? One of my second favorite wines in the world starts with a B also. We had Barolo yesterday from Kiara Boskis. Today, we've got Burgundy, Red Burgundy from the Mommy Son family. And uh, one of the most respected winemakers in Burgundy, Sylvain Pilot, was the gentleman that brought this property back to fame because it was in a state of disrepair before 1997 and we have a couple wines from that era here on this offering 95 and 96 two very good vintages but i would dare say if Sivo sylvan had taken over before then uh the wines would have been much better but the wines being made here today definitely on par with the best in burgundy and when you look at grand cru monopoles i think there's only five which um, this is the largest 7.5 hectares. And uh, well, one of my other favorite wines in Burgundy is right next door to it, Bon Mar. And then you have Clos de Lambrays, which sold for $400 million. Absolutely insane. Um, because, I mean, how much wine can you make from an area this size? Well, they only make 2,000 cases total, 1,500 of the first wine, and they do something that hardly anybody else does in Burgundy with Grand Cru juice. They declassify a portion of this, uh, almost every vintage, and make a wine called La Forge, the name of this property. Back in the 12th century, well, uh, hey man, the monks drank pretty good back then, because uh, that's who owned all this land. Today, they just get beer. So uh, if you wanted to be a monk back then, you, you missed your chance, man, if you want to be a monk today, because only the wealthiest people in the world can afford to drink wines like Clos de Tarte. And um, hey, man, we've got the 2005, the last, one of the last killer vintages that's just now starting to drink. Uh, you still need to keep this wine another 10 years at $550 a bottle, which is about the price of the 2015, I would imagine. We've got older vintages like the 2003 and the 2000 that are ready to drink right now, especially the 2000, probably close to half the price of what the current release sells for. So uh, a lot of great stuff on this offering and uh, we've done many tastings with this producer and I can tell you every vintage uh, is outstanding of Clos de Tarte after these guys have taken over and revamped everything. I got a chance to visit the property and we got to taste the three different sections of the hill. A little different geology there, a little different exposure. I think it's like 100 feet or 50 meters of uh, difference in terms of the elevation from the top to the bottom. Uh, a Clos vineyard, so there's a wall around it. And like I said, this vineyard has never been split up. One of the most special pieces of dirt in all of Burgundy. Check it out. Everything we've got from one of my favorite properties in Burgundy, Clos de Tarte. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni. Hey, and I've included everything on here that we have from the village of Maurice St. Denis. Denise, also, we got a lot of other great producers, the next door neighbors of the Clos de Tarte vineyard on this offering. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.